Hi Aquarius, how are you? I hope you are well. I hope you are fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading is a weekly love reading for the sign of Aquarius. What can I get for Aquarius, please? What is the weekly love reading that is available for you to know and meant for you to know? This is for you, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Aquarius, I invite you to check out my website, sunshine-tv.com. The website will all will contain all of the details about myself, my channel, and my team, and all other services that I offer outside of the YouTube platform. I unfortunately do not offer a private reading right now. So if you have been approached uh, via email or Instagram account, that is not me. There is a scammer. So please be, um, be informed, okay? All right. And if you would like to follow me on my Instagram account, official Instagram account, I suggest to check the description box below. It will have the correct username. And um, that is me, okay? Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please, please do it now. This is me, my introduction. Let me just ground my energy. And let's start with Aquarius. What can I get for Aquarius, please? Let's look at the main energy for you, Aquarius. Ooh, you've got the death card in upright position. You've got, I'm not reading reversals for this new deck. You've got the sun card. And you've got in here the ten of wands. It seems to be you're finding happiness. Death card, you've released something. You're feeling, for some of you, alone but happy. Ten of wands, you're in the right mindset, okay? I really feel like um, you've released someone in the past. You made peace with your decision to release, to disconnect, to get over something or to accept death. Death in reverse is something also. Death in upright position is releasing, uh, moving on, accepting. A relationship, a connection, it is, um, it's not working. And you're cleaning up, you know. I feel like you're pushing Ten of Wands. All of the burden, the worries that has cost you that has caused you that, that has caused you pain or suffering or um that has caused you a lot of worries and concern you're cleaning up you're happy you're making peace with yourself you know sun card is happy sun card is a happy card the death card is that you've decided to detach to release this is you turning back your you know walking away from a romantic situation or a person um, to save and to find your own happiness. It is difficult, Ten of Wands. It's, it's difficult to walk away from someone you love, from someone you like, but you feel like it's not worth staying because it is affecting your happiness. And your happiness is very vital to you. Um, if you're together... It's not the happiness that you expect. You're happy being alone. You know? If they're around you, they make you feel that they're not around you. It's a sense of it's a sense of feeling that you've got someone physically or connected with you, but they don't really make you happy. You're more happy you're alone. This is what I'm getting from the sun card. Um, let's look at the situation in the past. You've got the um You've got the five of cups. The situation in the past is, you know, you've been so sad for quite some time now. Five of cups. You've been so sad. You felt like you've been abandoned. And it's time, you know. The reason why you have become the death card, the sun card, the ten of wands is that you've been so sad in the past. It It is, it's, it's been so lonely. Five of cups, the judgment. Um, it's it's been you've been in the dark or you're lost or it's been a journey of you know being sad being sad because you're connected to a person to a situation that it doesn't make you happy you're looking you're just simply looking for your happiness and you know the judgment card you cannot ask um, the judgment card is something that you can't escape 
you you cannot escape the fact that you've got a person, you've got a romantic situation, but it is sad. If it makes you feel sad, it drives you to be the death card to release it, okay? So the situation in the past, it was sad, it was disappointed, and you cannot deny that anymore. It is coming, you know, if I was your friend, I could really look into your eye and I could say you're sad. You've got a person, you're connecting with someone, you've got a relationship, but it doesn't make you happy. It doesn't inspire you. What I see in your eyes is tears. What I see in your eyes is sadness. What I see in your eyes, Aquarius, is sadness. In your eyes. You might probably be smiling with other people, but you cannot lie to yourself. Judgment. If you reflect and you, if you look at yourself in the mirror, what you see is a sad person. It's a sad Aquarius because you've been anchored or you've been tied up with a person with a situation where it's a losing battle. But that's in the past because I feel like at the current moment, you've got the death card release, detach, getting over with something or coming to a point of, I want to find my own happiness and I'm willing to take a risk. I'm willing to start all over, all over again. I'm willing to do everything to find my happiness. But you need to start from scratch. That's why you're releasing this person. You know, Ten of Wands. It's you're still tied up with a burden connected with this person and it is unpleasant but i really see you having the strength to really step away or walk away from this person or this situation it could be temporary for some of you or it could be permanent but one thing is for sure in your main energy is that you've identified something you've come up to a decision making that and when i said that i saw five 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 um you've come up to a point of there is nothing, there's no life, okay? There's no life, there's no reason to wait. This person makes you sad and it suck up that life in you and you don't want this. This is gloomy, this is dark, this is sad, okay? It makes you feel cuckoo, it makes you feel dizzy, overthinking. It, make, it consumes your thought, bad thought towards this person or situation. It makes you sad. It makes you sad because you have a person, you're connecting with someone, you probably have a relationship right now, but you cannot be with them. You can't spend time with them or they don't spend time with you the way you are to them. You're so open and available for them. You're always waiting for them. You know, you're sad. It is sad. When you reflect and you look at yourself in the mirror, look at this one. You know, it's, you reflect, you look at yourself, you look sad. Yet, yes, you've got a person, you're waiting for someone. Does it make you happy? Does it make you happy to wait? Does it make you happy to stay? Does it make you happy to be connected with this person? If the answer is no, then this is you, the death card. You have released it or you're about to release it. Because why? It doesn't make you feel happy. Because life is too short. You need to find your sunshine. A person, a situation that makes you shine. The sun is the center of the universe is it but the reason why my my channel's name is sunshine is because uh, my own son is myself sun my 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 son is scorpio so my happiness comes first my son my son is my happiness um myself if i'm not happy with a thing with a person with a scenario then that's not my son i will find a new son you know so ten of wands um, for some of you guys, it's a struggle to clean up all of the attachment towards this person. But you're back up with this sun energy. You're back up with a lot of optimism because you had enough of this sadness. Like, no more. This is you. You have reflected. Look at that. You, you finally look at yourself in the mirror. You look sad. You look sad. Look at that. The Queen of Cups. You're so worth it. Do you know that? The Queen of Cups gives unconditional love. The Queen of Cups is patient. The, the Queen of Cups is kind. The Queen of Cups sits there, wait for her guy or her girl. And she reserves the cup. She reserves her mental, physical, and her beauty to a one person. She's very loyal. The thing is, she's been waiting there for so long. Probably that your cup has expired. That's why you felt this way. Queen of Cups. And you've got here the 
Ten of this, the Ten of Pentacles. In spite of everything, you have a lot of to be thankful with. You know, you, you have a lot of reason to be thankful. You might not be as, you know, as successful when it comes to love and relationship. But this Queen of Cups, it's very successful in some other areas of your life. And I need to highlight that. You know, you might not get the love, the feelings, the reciprocation from a romantic situation. But you're very blessed with a good look with a good life, good money, stability. So don't ever think that you are alone, that this five of cups, because this is unhappiness, sadness. Don't ever feel that you're, don't ever feel that you are alone. You're not alone, okay? And I don't know if you're, if you, if you question yourself for it, don't be, look at how, you know, what you have achieved, how colorful your life is. This person, this situation right now, it seems to be falling apart or it might have disappointed you because this is not what you expected. But inside you is a swan, a beautiful one, a beautiful swan, a beautiful soul that has a lot of potential. Look at that. A lot of potential. Um, let's look at the hidden energy in your person's feelings. Hidden energy is like what I said, beginnings. If you release and you embrace that there are some things in life that doesn't work. And one of this is that, you know, sometimes we tend to be lost in our sorrow, in our pain. And then the universe snap us and say, hey, wake up. You are the queen of cups. You're very fertile. You're very beautiful. You have so much achievement in life. Don't let this person's situation drag you to be sad because it is showing up in your eyes. You can begin. You can start all over again. Or you can create a new adventure, a new hobby that will take your mind out of this relationship or connection that doesn't work. Okay? It is empowering you. It is reminding you, Aquarius, that, um, that you are not alone and you'll never be alone. Because you have achieved so much in life, people, resources, you have acquired a lot of support. So don't feel alone. Don't feel alone. Don't feel sad. Just because this person or this situation is not giving you the TLC, the tender loving care that you need. There's a lot of there is a lot of uh, the sources of happiness in our life. It's a lot. You know? But one must be happy within. If you learn how to be happy by being alone, then you're sorted. You know, the rest are secondary. So I see you having that power within you. You know, I see you having that ability to realize how blessed, how you have a wonderful life. The fact that you are watching my video in your beautiful phone, you've got an inter internet connection. That is, that is one good thought to hold on that I'm so blessed. Maybe the person that this person, the situation that you're involved romantically, they're not aligned to your timeline. Because in here, it seems to be you are available and you're ready. The person that the, the person that this the, the person the situation that you're dealing with, they're not misalignment. So the hidden energy is that it's time for you to have a new beginning. It's time for you to create. Um, a new adventure, a new hobby that will replace all of the sadness, the bad memories, the bad experience you felt towards this person. It's time to take over and, you know, allow the sun to shine again so that the sun shine reflects in your face and you see how beautiful you are, how amazing you are, how, how nice it is to see a glow in your eyes after such a dark time. Okay, and then you've got here the Prince of Cups. Um, there's a person that is meant for you, okay? Right now, this person is quite far from your energetic field, you know? I really feel like um, release this person, this connection, this relationship. I see you focusing on yourself. I see you cleaning up cleaning up all the anxiety, worries, and concern. And I see you appreciating your life. I see you pampering yourself. I see you looking for a new adventure. For some of you, I don't know, I'm seeing like trekking, climbing mountain, just to release those toxic or 
toxic thoughts that's connected to the sadness. I see you having, you know, finding a way to glow. For some of you, I'm seeing you dipping into a hot, you know, like a bathtub full of beautiful flowers and essentials and really, really pampering yourself and working things to push away the Ten of Wands, the burden, the sorrow, all of that you experienced and felt towards this person and finding the center of your life again is you. You, you're gonna look, you're gonna do you. And then um, predictive outcome advice, I see an apology coming your way and I see a new person coming your way. This person, um, when you're truly ready, when you feel like a good 10 weeks, a 10 weeks journey to find yourself, the healing, the forgiveness and acceptance, there is a Taurus new moon, okay? Um, there's a Taurus new moon. I'm into journal nowadays. So journal all the pain, all the hurt and tell the universe to take it from you. And then you start working on your inner healing, yourself, your son, your, your, yourself is your son. That is your happiness. So work things out with you, you know, do some, do some reflection in here, do some cleaning up of emotional baggage, you know, do some nice activities, cooking, um, I don't know, for some of you trekking, do some physical activities, it's release you know, the sweat, sweat it out for some of you. And then I see you within the 10 weeks period, I see a person saying sorry to you. It could be this person or for some of you, it's a young person probably you will meet in the gym, um, in the yoga, a person that's connected to water or pool, a person who's connected to your brother, a person that's connected to your, f uh, not, not female friend, but um, yeah, female friend. Yeah, female friend. So there is a whole life waiting for you, Aquarius. The universe is waiting for you to give this up. So they could provide you a new adventure, okay? So clean, clear your thoughts and find your sunshine again. And I'm with you all the way, okay? So good luck to you. Good luck with this new lover, this new thingy, this new person. It looks exciting. It looks very, very calm. This person will appear in your life when you are truly healed when you have done the inner work they will appear and this person is in alignment of your requests this is your request from the universe not this person the one that you're about to release detach that's not your person i'm telling you right now if you give this up and have the courage to take your life back and be the center of your attention is your son you then 10 weeks period onwards you will get this as a reward you know, a person who's holding the cup and similar as yours, it's a match. It might be younger than you. It's younger than you. This person is ready, is waiting for quite some time now. This is a shake up. It's time to wake up Aquarius. All right. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.